Hi everyone, this is Junk from Junk Mods, and today we're going to be looking at uh, installing XBMC uh, to your hard drive without the assistance of a network connection. So in this case, we're going to use the disk utility I compiled for this purpose called the Junk XBMC Installer. So the installer was designed to be a, a one-stop install option for anyone wanting to easily set up a recent build of XBMC uh, fully optimized for regular use. So in this case, the whole purpose is to provide people who have very little experience with modding or using a modded Xbox uh, the ability to add XBMC to their console without FTPing into it. Uh, when I first started modding Xboxes, uh, I used to burn tons of stuff to DVDs just to put it onto uh, the console. Uh, and that's so I would have physical backups available uh, just because I wasn't able to FTP regularly uh, due to a lack of machines. Uh, lack of PCs. Uh, I would highly recommend you become familiar with the FTPing process as, as it's uh, much easier and simpler than uh, burning DVDs for every little application. Um, maybe you're in a single PC household or maybe you don't have a router or your network isn't really optimized. Uh, this would be the best solution for that kind of situation as the download and the installer package itself are, are as small as possible. Uh, so it's a small download, quick burn, and uh, you're off and running. So essentially it's just designed to be an offline one-click install solution for those scenarios. Um, the way it will be uh, installed on your hard drive will be the easiest way to use XBMC and keep your native dash so that you can quickly and easily update builds from an alternate dash like uh, Unleash or Evo. Now as mentioned, uh, if you're familiar with FTPing, uh, by all means, go ahead and transfer files that way. This video is not really meant for you. Uh, there's nothing useful um, in this video aside from showing you how to install without the network. So this is a setup that will work on a single or dual boot soft mod install or any hard mods uh, with either a stock or upgraded hard drive. Basically any kind of modded Xbox uh, this will work on. So for this tutorial you're going to need to download the installer. Uh, the link's in the description there and go ahead and unzip the package using 7-zip and then file or burn the um, ISO file to a DVD. So essentially we're just going to go ahead and, and burn the whole package uh, and then obviously throw it in your tray and uh, it'll load up the installer. Now I saved my installer to my hard disk so I'm just going to run it from there to uh, briefly show you. So when it boots we have uh, all of the options here. Install XBMC on your E drive and that's for hard mods and then of course the soft mod option in brackets there. So this gives you your, your two options either to e-drive or to a larger designated drive or a larger drive that you would designate. Um, as well I threw two video boot skins in here so Confluence Lite and GX720. So just to show you that the installer does function correctly I already have an optimized build of XBMC on my machine but I don't have the GX720 skin so we're going to install that in a second. Uh, this has the file manager function as well so if you want to go ahead and check after you've done the install to make sure it is there in the correct location uh, you have the option to do so without leaving the installer. So if you need to rerun anything or if you want to do something differently uh, you do have the flexibility there. So I'm just installing the skin here and there we go it's complete. So we're just going to back out and restart the Xbox at this point. So now what we're going to do is we're going to map the XBMC executable to a gamepad shortcut. Um, so I always boot to Unleash. I was already in XBMC, um, but I always boot to Unleash. So the way to go ahead and do this is uh, you go to the settings menu and you'll see I already have mine set. When you go to gamepad slash IR shortcut and designate where the executable is on the uh, partition and you can go ahead and just set it to whichever button you, you want here, or even on the, uh, the remote. You can go ahead and, uh, and do it that way. There's options for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and restart the machine here. And uh, I'm going to hold down Start. And you'll see that it will boot into Unleash X very briefly. Uh, and then it'll go ahead and uh, say that it's opening XBMC. And we'll launch into XBMC basically as quickly as possible. Uh, it's kind of like the whole dual boot install option, except it works on soft mods, of course. So, there we go. 
So yeah, we uh, skipped the uh, dash and went right to XPMC with that shortcut. Um, dual boot soft mods, they have the SID or the original Xbox dash. Um, those are going to be retained. They're not going to be overwritten or messed with. Uh, if you have a chipped Xbox, you have a bit more flexibility with assigning XPMC as the alternate dash, uh, but that's a completely different process. So now I'm just going to quickly show you the JX720 skin that I have uh, that I set up with the video boot. Um, so it basically boots like a, an Xbox 360. You get the splash here. That's nice. And then it boots to the uh, the old school blade style dash. So, I mean, that's what it looks like if you're curious. But anyway, uh, there you have it. How to install XBMC without network access as a backup dash. Um, so I hope that helps out a little bit. And if you have any questions or anything to add, please leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.